Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're talking with a 15 year old bug bounty hunter who has recently seen success with doing all sorts of different bug bounties. Uh, so Jackson, I'd like to introduce you to the, the viewers here. How's it going? Thank you. No, it's going good. What about you? Yeah, pretty good, man. Pretty good. Um, tell us a bit about yourself. Hey guys, so my name's Jackson Henry and obviously as DC explained, I'm a bug bounty hunter and cybersecurity enthusiast. Nice. Okay. And what sort of um, bug bounties, I guess, do you focus on mostly? So obviously you have HackerOne, you have Bug Crowd Integrity. Um, I personally hunt on Bug Crowd. It's my platform of choice. Um, so yeah, mostly on Bug Crowd. Nice, nice. Okay. I've got a, a bunch of questions here that I um, asked a bunch of people in my Discord server that um, I'm going to ask you. So the first one is what was the first bug for a bug bounty you ever found and how long did it take you to you know report and get it triaged and everything what was it how long did it take in total the whole process so i think the first ever bug i found um would be uh, it was on a brand new um, program on bug crowd um, and it was a reflected xss vulnerability um, and i feel like xss's are quite common um, as a first bug type they're fairly easy, um, fairly easy to understand and, and to execute, and you pretty much find them everywhere. I mean, they're very common. Um, and from the time of reporting, um, you know, triage just take quite a while. Obviously, they have to cross-reference with whatever companies um, the vulnerability is in. So it usually takes around a couple of weeks. This one in particular, it took two weeks. Right. So the, the whole process took two weeks? Yeah. To, from finding yeah, the bug right. to the, re the resolution, yeah. Wow, that's pretty quick. That's that's pretty good because I have heard things where they take sort of months or you know potentially a very long time to come through. So that's that's quite surprising for me, um, someone who doesn't do anything to do with bug bounties at all to to sort of hear. So that's interesting. Um, okay, next question is uh, what is the average time invested per bug, um, as well as the triaging process in order to make it, uh, I guess, viable as a primary source of income. Right, yeah. Um, so I guess it really depends, you know, if you count the time you take uh, to get it ded dedicate to learning um, and getting proficient at finding certain vulnerabilities. Um, but I would say that it's, it's quite a common misconception that um, bug bounties are sort of like a, you know, get rich quick scheme. Um, and a lot of talented bug bounty hunters um, tell you to pursue bug bounties as a side job. Yeah. Um, but obviously, you know, if you're very talented, um, you know, it could very well be a, be viable as a primary um, income income stream. Um, although th there's sort of limited job security there. I mean, you can go months without not finding, you know, a single vulnerability. But you yeah, know, in one it. month, yeah, in one month you can find seven RCDs and you know pull off twenty thousand dollars in one month. So I feel like That's it really it. depends. Yeah, but then you, like you said, you might have those few months or you know, maybe six months or, or longer where you just aren't cracking anything worth anything substantial. Definitely. And you're, you're just sort of sitting there going, well, what's what's the point? But yeah, cracking $20,000 would be fantastic. But um, I think the reality that I've heard anyway is that it's it's quite uncommon to make that sort of money in bug bounties. Do you, would you say that's correct? Yeah, definitely. And you, you see all those hun hunters on Twitter, you know, always post about their, their really big earnings. So it's hard to kind of, yeah. <laughs> it, it's hard to kind of, um, you know, ground yourself and just remember that it's actually quite unlikely to, to get a bounty of that size. Um, so yeah. For sure. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, the next question was, how much automation do you use in your scripts? Ah, right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a big believer in sort of the power of automation. And I think automating a lot of your workflow is sort of a really important aspect in being a successful bug bounty hunter. Um, and personally, I automate a lot of the recon and exploitation stages of bug, bug bounty programs. Um, and it's really just to pick, pick up all the low-hanging fruit that, that people may have missed. Um, yep. But I think it's also really important, you know, not to rely on automation. Um, to find all the bugs for you. Uh, it's still really important to sort of understand fundamentally, you know, what these tools do and how they do it. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's that's a really good way to put um, automation as a whole in the industry as well, um, where it, it is easy to sort of pick up the, like you said, low hanging fruit, but there, there is so much more to it that automation 
may not and probably won't pick up at all. And exactly. that's not just related to bug bounties. That's, that's sort of across, I guess, IT as a whole in automation sense anyway. Okay. Uh, the last question is, do you think bug bounty hunting is worthwhile? Yeah, so I think bug bounty you know, hunting in general is, is a really valuable learning experience. Um, but obviously, if you're just pursuing it just for the money, uh, I, I believe that's sort of the wrong way to think about it. Um, obviously, and as mentioned before, from a monetary perspective, it may be a better option to use bug bounties as a secondary income source. But no, for the for the education and experience side of things, I think it's it's definitely worth it. Yeah, I'm glad you touched on the education side there because that's usually where I point people to if, if they're interested in getting into bug bounties, sort of straight off the bat, like they they just want to make money quick. I, I usually sort of segue them to the point of look, you can. You can make money off bug bounty, sure, but it's the learning experience that you're actually going to gain uh, more value from. And I, I think that's still very much the case um, since the last time I spoke to someone who does bug bounty. So it's, yeah, I, th I believe that is, um, that's sort of where most of the value is in bug bounties at the moment still, especially for new players. Definitely. Awesome. Anyway, um, thanks for coming on and having a chat. It's been great talking to you. This has been a nice, uh, quick video for a change. Um, the last few bug bounty ones I did sort of went for a very, very long time and, and no one watched it basically. So I wanted to make this one nice and short and sweet. And um, yeah, I think we've achieved that. Awesome. Well, thank you for having me. Cool. Thanks. Catch you later.